All right then gang, so there's one more built-in type that I want to show you and that is the tuple. Now these are a little bit like arrays, we use square brackets to define them and they can also use array methods, but there is one major difference. The types of data in each position in a tuple is fixed once it's been initialized. Now that might not make much sense just me saying it, so let's dive into an example. So let's create first of all a variable and I'm going to call it R for array and I'm just going to create a simple array right here. Now the first one is going to be a string inside this array, the second element a number and the third one is true. So knowing what we know about arrays in TypeScript, we know that if we wanted to we could reset this first position to be a number, for example I could say r0 and set that equal to something like false, a boolean, right? That's allowed because we know that any position in this array now can be a boolean, a string or a number. And likewise I could say something like array and one and set that equal to something like Yoshi so we can change that from a number to a string that's absolutely fine or I could just take the array and set it equal to something else completely which includes those three types any kind of boolean string or number so I could say 30 and then false and then Yoshi that's absolutely fine to do so these arrays are still quite flexible in terms of what can be in what position any of these three types can be in any of the positions now the difference with a tuple is that once we define a certain position being a certain type then we can't change that type in that position so let me say let top and that's short for tuple and that's going to be some kind of tuple now we're defining this explicitly we didn't here by the way but we are doing here and you have to define these explicitly otherwise it's just going to think it's a normal array so the way we define a tuple is by using square brackets and then saying what types we expect to be in each position so i could say well the first one has to be a string uh, the second one has to be a number and the third one has to be a boolean now if i give this a value now i'm going to say Ryu, so the first one is a string, right? The second one, 25, is a number, and the third one, true, which is a boolean. Now, I get no errors, and that's absolutely fine, but if I change the first one now to be something else, like 40, and the second one to be a string, then it throws a wobbler. It doesn't let me do this because this is not according to what we said right here for the tuple. So I can't do that. Once each position has been defined as a type like this, then that position can't be anything else. So likewise, I couldn't come down here and say top and then the zeroth position, which is the first one, the string, and set that equal to false because it can't be a Boolean, right? But what it could do is change it into a different string like Ken, for example. And if I say top one and set this equal to something else like some kind of string that's not allowed but i can change it to a different number and that is allowed so the types are fixed once we define a tuple and this right here this is how we explicitly define a tuple on an array so an example of where you might use this might be if you had some kind of students variable and it's a tuple and what i'm going to do is define this explicitly this type so i'm going to say each student should be a tuple where the first element is a string and the second one is going to be a number now down here I could say student is now equal to and it's going to be string first of all so for example Chun Li and then the number is just some random number which represents that student so now we know that the first item is always going to be the student name a string and the second item we know is always going to be a number so we can work with student objects or student arrays or tuples whatever you want to call them in the future easily I couldn't do it the other way around I couldn't say students is equal to some kind of oops number first of all and then the actual name it doesn't let me do that because the string must be first and a number second okay so we can actually use this idea of a tuple up in our project code so right here you see where we're passing all of these three parameters across like this we're repeating our code twice what we could do if we wanted to is create a variable called values like this and I'm gonna say that that is equal to some kind of array first of all so not a tuple to begin with and in here I'm gonna say first of all I want the first element to be to from dot value and then the second one is details dot value and then the third one is amount dot value as number 
So now we have an array, oops, that should be a mount, not mount, an array with all three parameters that we need to pass through into each one of these constructors. So if I use the spread operator on array, what it does is take each element out and pass them individually. So if I say something like values and then put dot 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 in front of it, then it takes all these and spreads them out. But look, we get an error. And that's because it doesn't necessarily know what the type of the first item is, what the type of the second item is, and what the type of the third item is, because it's an array. And as long as we put these different values, strings and numbers in different areas inside that array, it's fine. It doesn't know or specify that number zero or zero position must be a string. One position must be a string and then two position must be a number. It doesn't say that. And we're expecting explicit types in our constructors. It must be string, it must be string, it must be number. So we can say that this must be a tuple. So I could say up here, let values be some kind of tuple where the first one is a string, the second one is a string, and the third one is a number. Now we are specifying the types right here, yeah? And when we say that values is equal to this, it conforms to this tuple, the first one is a string, it is a string, it is a number, and therefore, if we use values down here now, and use the spread operator to spread out those values, it knows the first one's a string, it knows the second one's a string, and it knows the third one is a number, so it allows us to do this now. And I can do the same thing down here, because it's the same parameters that go into it, dot 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 values to spread those out. So there we go, my friends, that is tuples.